Hi everyone, good morning. So today is Saturday and we are just gonna take you along on our day today and it's gonna be more of a vlog style. Um, I made some avocado toast for breakfast, something that I enjoy one to two times a week whenever I can get my hands on good avocado. Um, I'm gonna also go to the farmer's market after this. We're gonna do some packing and then we're also gonna go watch a baseball game. So it's a full day, um, but yeah, just stick with us and it'll be a lot of fun. I'm home now. This is what I bought from the farmer's market. I bought some tomatoes and some broccoli and papaya, bananas, some manua lettuce, and a pineapple. So I've been really liking pineapple the last couple weeks. I bought one last week too and this is kind of what I've been enjoying. I've also been liking oranges but they didn't have any today so Hopefully we can find that either at the market or um, tomorrow we might go check out another farmer's market. So some of the things I bought. Okay, so we're back home now and for lunch, we are just warming up some turkey spaghetti that Reed made the other night. And uh, we went to Home Depot, picked up some boxes, more boxes. And this is kind of what our moving situation looks like now. So we're going to be moving, so we're going to be packing, and then we're going to be going to um, baseball game later. Hey everyone, so now it's a little bit later in the day and we are going to a UH baseball game. So UH is the University of Hawaii at the stand, it's not at the stand sheriff, what is it called? The Les Murakami Stadium. Sorry, the Les Murakami Stadium, which is right next to Stan Sheriff Center. And I think the last time we went to a UH baseball game probably was before COVID. Well, obviously, but it's been a little bit. So we're just, I think we said four years ago. Yeah, it's been a, a long time. And now my youngest nephew plays baseball, Tanner. So um, their family is coming as well, as well, as well as my parents. And so I think for Tanner, um, now that he understands the game, I think he's a, a lot more excited to come and watch. But yeah, we'll just take you along. It's been a long time since we've been in that stadium. Okay, what are we looking at? This is the new Clarence T.C. Ching uh, UH football field that we had to build. And they did this miraculously in like less than a year because UH lost their home, Aloha Stadium, when it was deemed unfit uh, for anybody to participate in. And so they did a good job of renovating this field. This used to be Cook Field. And when I was in college here, we used to be able to play like intramural soccer on this field. And it was just a place for people to come and work out if you're a student. But now they turned it into uh, UH's new home. So it's going to be here. Uh, football is going to be here for the foreseeable future until we can build a new stadium. Wow, looks nice. Hi. Hi. Well, we're excited to go to the UH baseball game. You excited? Yes. Yeah. Which is playing Vanderbilt. So we are sitting at the very top of the stadium, so I'm sweating every time I come up the stairs. But other than that, we just got back from the concessions, and I got chicken strips and fries, and we got chili dog with a beer. Concession food. They also had Ole's Thai food that you could get. So 
almost like I imagined it. So Reed's an alumni here from the University of Hawaii. Did you used to do these kinds of things when you were in college? Yeah, because I lived right there. Also, alumni. Did you used to do these things in college? I used to work here. You said you used to like brush it. I was taking care of the field, but it, as you can see, it's all turf now, so the dirt is no longer. How many years ago was that? Um, <laughs> 1998 was the last year I was here probably. So I save um, I save my hot dog eating for special occasions like this. It's a big hot dog. Mmm. Hot dog and uh, garlic fries. good until this inning. It's okay. They're a very good team. I guess, I guess our ticket for the baseball game comes with the women's basketball, which is right next door in the Stan Sheriff Center. So we're going to watch a little bit of their game as well. Excited? Yeah. As she yawns. <laughs> Good morning everyone, so we're getting an early start to our morning today and uh, Reed just picked up some Starbucks and we are going to Sangha Day. So I'm not sure if I shared this on my channel before, but I did grow up Buddhist and so, um, you know, Reed and I are still a part of the temple. Reed, um, you, did you grow up with a, any religion? No. No. <laughs> so uh, for me though, you know, I, it was just a really good experience and a good memory that I have, you know, going to temple every Sunday. And overall, I think, you know, whatever religion you are, it's just, it's a nice way to spend time as a family and have that as a part of your routine. And that's something for me that I remember early on in my childhood. And so I know when, you know, when we have our baby, we're going to want to continue to take our kids to temple, right? So is there going to be singing at Sangha Day? <laughs> so now we're heading to Sangha Day, which is um, just a way for the congregation to get together and to spend time together and as a child I always remembered it as just a fun experience of relay races and like bingo games and um, Good food and all of that. Anyway, just wanted to share that bit as we now head out of the car. Are you ready? We're at Sangha Day 2022 and we just saw a very um, great performance by the PBA Taiko uh, group and we're gonna paint Peace Rocks. What? Are you excited? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm about to paint a rock, a Peace Rock. <laughs> so what's, what is it? What's the Peace Rock? Uh, you can put like, there's like some examples of there. So you can put like peace signs, you can make some what are you gonna put? Get the and they want to make like a rainbow and then maybe a lime name on it or something. Mara, what you gonna do? Uh, P. P for peace. Oh, look, there's P. Oh, what's P? Are you gonna play bingo? Mara, you want P? Mara? Can you pass me? 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 Can
We're at Nealis Blaisdell Park in on the border of Aya and Pearl City. Uh, it is, uh, I, I don't even know how big it is, but it's an underused park and it connects the bike path, Pearl Harbor Historic Bike Path from Aya, or actually from uh, Ivale all the way to Waianae. So if you want to use the bike trail, it's right over there and you can go all the way and walk or run and bike. Okay, so what is the significance of so, this bell here at the Neil Blaisdell Park? So this bell was erected in 1991 in commemoration of the 50th anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Uh, Bishop Ekan Ikiguchi um, from Kagoshima, Japan decided that he wanted to uh, build a memorial uh, to the attack of Pearl Harbor and the, the, the horror actually of war and what happened here. And so he brought, he funded the bill and they funded the lumber and they brought two craftsmen who assembled it here in 1991 and gifted it to the city. So it is a gift to the city um, and it is on their coffers. I mean, their, their list of uh, items that they should take care of. But you know, like anything, they're overstretched and they count on community groups to help uh, make sure that it is maintained. Pacific Buddhist Academy came out here in 2008 in September did a lot of service project work on it, um, cleaned it, washed the bell down. And really since then, it hasn't been upkept well enough. I mean, I've come out once before and it wasn't this bad. And then last year around Peace Day, we came out again to check and see if we could do anything with it. And it, we saw how, how beat up it was and how graffitied it was. So it was sad and it saddened us and so, we're trying to work with the school groups and also, I guess, re-energize Pacific Buddhist Academy and our community to, you know, take care of the cultural uh, sites and all that we have in our communities. It's made the artisans or the craftsmen from Kagoshima. Um, there are no nails in this structure. It's all inter interlocked and it's built. So to try and replace it or to would be very difficult and it would be a shame to just have it demolished. Also, the bishop, he wrote a poem, and it's inscribed on the bell uh, about the horrors of war. And, you know, we don't learn, do we? Um, and the, there's the plaques here that also say about his poem. But look at what we have happening right now in Ukraine. I mean, we, we just, people, only people can fix this. I think I, on this paper, I have a quote that Piper Toyama said, uh, peace has to come from within each of us. And it has to be a living thing. If you have to f do service, you have to pay attention to it, or you can just say, well, I'm in favor of peace, but what does that really mean? So I think this is a good project for us to focus on. Okay, so we are, Sangha Day, traditionally you have bento hutch. <laughs> yeah. Our lunch Say hi, today. hi. Our lunch today is, it kind of reminds me of the zip pack actually. It's like a fried chicken, terry beef, spam, and fish. A very meaty delight. So, excited to dig into this. Where's the bento from? Do you know? I don't know. Do you know? Ali? Oh! Is it beef? <laughs> it looks like the beef. These look like zip packs, but you're not sure. How does it taste, Ali? Describe the flavor. Describe the flavor. Salty. <laughs> and delicious. Tastes like Sangha Day. Tastes like Sangha Day. Got these from the Sangha Day activities. These are traditional bingo cards that we've been using for years. So that E Hongan G on it. How old are these cards, Ali? Oh, oh, it says I am Hong Kong. It's like custom me. I am Hong Kong. I don't know how old they are. Older than us, probably. <laughs> the bento is from Mama Yang. It's a bento Three shop nine. in the Pearl Kai shopping center. How was it? Delicious. And this is Auntie Carrie's bingo prize. Healthy yeah. choice. <laughs> <laughs>
gonna end the vlog here. It was a great weekend and we had a great Sangha day with our family. And you got to hear Auntie Claire talk about the bell. And I, there's so much that I didn't know about the significance of the bell here at Blazo Park in Aia. And I'm a little disappointed because we didn't get to sing songas. I told them that it's called the Gotha. Anyway, on that note, we'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you're all doing well. You would think they'd have songas on Sunday. And we'll talk to you, or not talk to you, but we'll see you guys soon.